Hercules, 29, the sixth slave of the Stymphalian birds. After a few days, Hercules made a journey to the town Stymphalos for Eurystheus, ERA, had ordered him, being Hercules, uh, to kill the Stymphalian birds. We got subjunctive right here. Imperfect subjunctive because it's the second principal part with an ending. And all of this is going to be an indirect command set up by the impero verb. These birds have bronze beaks and a human flesh. All right, this is deponent, and it takes. The ablative, which is right there. After he arrived at the place, he saw the lake. Moreover, in this lake, which was not far from the city or from the town, uh, the birds were living. Nevertheless, no opportunity. This A is matching up a facultas. This is third declension, feminine, nominative. And then here, we've got a gerund. So nevertheless, no opportunity, facultas, of approaching was given for. The lake consisted not of water, but of slime. Therefore, Hercules was a able to progress another deponent verb neither by foot nor boat when he had taken up it's going to be pluperfect subjunctive and a clune clause you have the essay the perfect active infinitive plus an ending when he had taken up a great part of the day in vain, he stopped from this attempt and he brought himself to Vulcan uh, in order to ask help from him. Again, we got another subjunctive. This one's going to be a purpose clause. Vulcan, who was Maxime, especially worshipped by craftsmen. I gave to Hercules symbols which he himself, and this is going to be Vulcan, had made out of bronze. Referring to the symbols with these, Hercules made such bitter noise that another imperfect subjunctive that the birds terrified flew off and this word plus the uh, is going to equal result clause